Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. 2022 UPSC have conducted mains exam. In that we have 10 geography questions from paper 1. Now we are in the 4th question of 10 questions. So for first 1, 2, 3, subscribe to our channel and listen in the following below links. Now in the 4th question, what he asked us is about 150 words answer which carries 10 marks examine the potential of wind energy wind energy which are harvesting units he is not asking you to write down the list of harvesting units potential maybe you may not have extracted the energy but there here is the potential you have to write about those areas also now in india and explain the reasons for the limited spatial spread so resource how we can use it how we cannot use it resource how we use it how we cannot use it you can write it as a western guards eastern guards south or state wise you can classify now can we go much deep deeper into the concept now look at this you have to draw this diagram so wind power potential map you know 100 meters in terms of speed and all so the western part or western guards where we have in those regions the wind particularly the southwest monsoon which comes to India has great potential has great potential you can write about one word that is easterly jet stream this is a wind that goes on India for almost three to four months which is stopping southwest monsoon to come to India suddenly in June this easterly jet streams will go suddenly in June first week or second week there will be a gush of winds that comes to India which is the highest potential of wind energy that we can harvest is Kerala coast because of burst of monsoon along with that in the western part of western Ghats because this is rain fed region this is rain shadow region so rain shadow region doesn't mean that we won't get any wind though it is rain shadow region we can harvest wind here we can harvest wind here and this being you know a creek type you know gulf of Kambat, gulf of Kutch and all peninsula Kathia or peninsula here also the wind that comes here can be harvested in these creeks and all right that is one in northeast monsoons in this region in the coastal region of northeast monsoons particularly where the bend takes you know can you see clearly there is a slight bend here here from here there is a huge amount of wind where we can use it for wind potential from northeast monsoon it can be AP Andhra Pradesh particularly Royal Seam of Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu region in terms of southwest monsoon Kerala Tamil Nadu Karnataka western part of Karnataka particularly western part of Maharashtra and Gujarat here we have western disturbances that will be coming in the month of November and December January so when western disturbances we can harvest potential energy of wind in Jammu Kashmir again in Meghalaya you can see because of the southwest monsoons that goes to Meghalaya and creates a swirling effect that is also one more potential where you can get a huge amount of wind energy these points you have to write where potential energies are there list of states and you, can, you have to draw this diagram where all you can find potential energy or problems how what is the limiting factors for example as as I said you suddenly monsoon comes suddenly we have burst of monsoon the speed will be very much greater because of the higher speeds the wind wind can be affected that is one and western guards being ecological sensitive region where migratory birds generally come from the southern side or say southern hemisphere or birds which come from northern hemisphere go to southern hemisphere they can be impacted or they can be met with an accident in the speedy wind winds that will be revolving around so you can mention that point also or the ecological disturbance that creates while installing you know wind winds those points also you can write in terms of problems because as you can see southwest monsoon as we have western guards huge potential huge potential huge potential not so great not so great but in terms of northeast monsoon here not so great but uh, coastal region coastal region coastal region coastal region so southwest monsoon northeast monsoons both we have great potential of uh, wind energy 
extraction in India because we have to divert our uh, energy resources. When we have to, when we are purchasing electrical vehicles, when we don't want to depend upon energy imports, particularly crude oil, we have to find an alternative of electrical energy. But if we consume or if you produce electrical energy from coal burning, again that's a waste issue. What is the difference here? If you burn petrol or diesel where carbon monoxide is released and that is impacting human lives and on the other side you are using electrical vehicles and electricity comes from the burning of coal where carbon dioxide is released, both are waste only, both are di difficult only. So you have to get an energy from a unfossiled or maybe say renewable energy where there is no much carbon footprint. You have to mention these all points to get those maximum marks. Right? Thank you. In the next question, next video will be discussing on tied to cities or uh, how it is changing middle class in terms of culture of the consumption. Thank you and subscribe to our channel for more videos.